Are you going out for the evening and you want to find out how to get high volume defined curls quickly? If so, keep watching. Yeah. Hi guys, Susie here. As I mentioned in the intro, in this video, I'm going to show you how to get a more high volume polished look for your hair that's perfect for like an evening out with your girlfriends or a date night or if you're going to a wedding reception or just some kind of an event where you're going to be more dressed up and you want your hair to be a little bit bigger and sexier and just more, I don't know, like va va voom. So in today's tutorial, I'm actually filming in my best friend's bathroom and today is the perfect day to do a video like this because tonight me and my girlfriends are going out to dinner at a sushi restaurant and I'm going to be getting dressed up and I just want my hair to look more polished than it normally does. I also wanted to mention that I'm using all inexpensive products. And as per usual, I will leave all the products I use listed in the comments section below. Now these products are all products that you can buy like at any drugstore, Walmart, and places like that. So I hope you enjoy the tutorial and keep watching. All right guys, here we go. I have about 45 minutes to get ready. So I'm gonna start by just wetting all of my hair and I'm gonna use warm water for this. I'm just going to get my head in the sink there and just wet my hair with warm water until my hair is completely saturated and get ready to apply my shampoo. Now, for those of you that follow my channel, you know that I very rarely shampoo my hair, but I wanted my hair to look lighter and fluffier today. And so I'm going to use my Jamaican black castor oil shampoo in order to shampoo my scalp and my roots especially. So here's my Shea Moisture Jamaican black castor oil strengthening and repair shampoo. And this shampoo, although it is uh, sulfate free, it does lather. I'm gonna focus on my roots and my scalp. And then I'm rinsing the shampoo again with warm water. Still rinsing, still rinsing. All right, and now I'm gonna apply my conditioner. So this is the Live Clean Apple Cider Conditioner. Again, normally I would start with this step. So normally I skip the shampoo and I just go right into applying the conditioner to my hair, but I wanted to try to make my hair a little lighter and fluffier. Um, so anyway, now that I'm on the conditioning step, I'm just gonna completely coat my hair with the conditioner. Um, roots to ends, I do apply the conditioner to my roots, just not as heavily as I do in the rest of my hair. And then once the conditioner is in my hair, I'm going to finger detangle my hair. I always finger detangle my hair. I don't use a comb or a brush normally in the shower. And once my hair is all detangled, I'm gonna scrunch the conditioner into my hair. All right, and then I'm gonna rinse the conditioner with cold or cool water. I find the colder the water it is, the less frizz I get. So I tend to suck it up and use really cold water and it works well for me. When I'm rinsing my hair, when I'm rinsing the conditioner out of my hair, I tend to leave about 20% of the conditioner still in my hair. So when I squeeze my hair there, you can see that the water that's dripping from my hair is white. I do this on purpose. Now for this tutorial, I am using a comb. And the reason I'm doing this is, again, I want my hair to be a little bit fluffier. So I'm breaking up some of my curl clumps before I apply my product. And for my product today, I'm gonna to use the LA Looks uh, Sport Gel. And this gel is Curly Girl approved. It's alcohol and silicone free, and it has a harder hold. The reason I'm using a harder hold gel than I normally use is to create volume, and I am going to diffuse my hair today. So I need something with a little bit more hold to give me some height on top of my hair. So I just applied the gel uh, throughout my hair strands, just smoothing it over my hair, and then again, I am going to scrunch my hair. All right, and last but not least, I'm gonna plop. So a lot of you have asked me to do a plopping tutorial. That sounds hilarious. But anyway, here it is. 
So I just lay my head down the bottom part of the t-shirt and then I wrap the bottom around and then the tie the sleeves around to the front of my head to create a turban. Don't I look cute? Now we're just waiting for about 10 minutes for the t-shirt to absorb quite a bit of the water so I don't have to dry as much. That's my best friend Sherry and I have no idea what we're talking about but I'm sure it's ridiculous. So there we go. I'm ready to diffuse my hair. I'm just going to scrunch some of the excess water out with a t-shirt. And guys, check it out. It's not Black Beauty. This is a new hair dryer, which I ended up returning like two days later. But anyway, you will notice that I'm not very strategic when I diffuse my hair. I only had, like I said, about 40 minutes to get ready. And so the most important thing is that, well, for first of all, I'm not raking my hands through my hair. I'm just scrunching it and laying it onto the diffuser. And I don't have the hair dryer on a hot setting. I have it on like a warm uh, setting for most of it. And then at the end, I turn it down to cool. This took me longer than I anticipated. Um, I'd say this was the longest part of the process. It took about 25 minutes. Still drying. Now, if I wasn't going out for the evening, you guys know I, I typically air dry my hair, but I was in a rush and uh, this worked out really well. All right, that's it. Oh yeah. So these are the final results. My hair is defined, it has lots of volume, and I feel like it's just dressy enough for like an evening out with my friends, like I mentioned. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a big thumbs down. Leave any questions or comments you have in the comment section below. Subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.